Hey, you. You are about to embark on a journey to nowhere with Unique LA. Welcome to my channel and thank you for stopping by. Today, I will be doing a reading for the collective for the month of June 2022. We do have a few more days before June, but you may already be feeling the energies within this reading or beginning to feel them. So let's go ahead and get to the reading for the upcoming month. Please allow us to receive the messages for the highest and greatest good of all for the collective for the entire month of June 2022. Please provide us with the guided messages for the collective, for the highest and greatest good of all. Allow us to feel or know what the energies would be for the month of June 2022. Please provide us with the messages and or guidance needed for the collective, highest and greatest good of all. Pertaining to the energies for the month of June And this is just a general message for the collective. So it may or may not resonate with you at all. There may be a few things that resonate with you. Um, take what does and leave the rest. And I have no room. So we are going to, I do want to put the cards out, but I want to do something. Um, I'll have to do it, set it up. could zoom the camera out a bit, but then I don't think I'll get it together. I'm trying something different here. So we'll, you guys are with me on this journey. Decided to do something different here on my channel. So, and the space is truly a factor. Um, we'll do it like this. So, just so you all know, this is um, what. My mentor calls the Lenormanesque. Um, I'm not sure if anyone else calls it that, but it's a nine card Lenorman spread. Um, I just can't do it that way because I have no space. <laughs> so, you know. As you saw, this is on top of this, and then that's on the bottom. This is on top of this, and that's on the bottom. This is on top of this, and that's on the bottom. Uh, so let's go ahead. <clears throat> We're going to work with this. I'm going to see how I'm able to read this, considering 
how I have to set the cards up. Okay, so right off hand, I am seeing new opportunities coming in the month of June. <clears throat> we have the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords. So we have new uh, spark of ideas, spark of inspiration. Um, and then we have the wheel, which to me comes off as ending a cycle, which June is that mid-year. So ending the mid-year off. There's an idea that was planted the first half of the year. This is actually harder than I thought trying to read it this way. Because the way my mind is, or I should say my vision, the way I see it. <laughs> um, and the way it's set up. But we're going to, we're, we're going to work with this. So the beginning half of the year, there were seeds that were planted. For a new beginning. And you may see that coming. I don't know, I just got burning that down hmm whatever was planted for the first half of the year it is coming into fruition and another spark of inspiration or idea is now coming for Joan for the second half of the year Yep, that is coming to an end. Whatever was planted is coming to an end. It's coming into fruition, I should say. But there is a spark of inspiration and idea that's coming in June. And I'm getting financial... New money, uh, new jobs, new career offers. Uh, that's what I'm getting. New beginnings. Based on an idea. That's going to bring more of a peaceful setting if it is a job or a home or something it's going to be a more peaceful environment there's an idea coming that's going to bring on 
a change of scenery, a more peaceful environment. Calm, able to relax. And be grounded. And with the Five of Swords here under the King of Swords, on top of the moon, there are going to be some things that the month of June will bring. Or you may, we are going into the month of June with some things that are unclear. They're not really clear at this moment um, as far as what direction to go, um, what direction to move in, what next steps to take. We're going into the month of June with that type of energy. But we're going to get inspiration and ideas to let us know that season has ended. Look back on what we planted the first half of the year and how far we've come, how much we've grown, what we've learned from the first half of the year, what changes we learned that we wanted to make with new directions we wanted to go in and don't just sit there this second half of the year go out and make it happen take that trip if needed move if needed go find your people call out to your people call out for help ask for help if needed so go ahead and move, be able to move on with this new idea and this new spark of in inspiration for the second half of the year. There's a strong idea coming into June. Um, I feel a very intelligent we're going into June smarter. And things will be revealed. We'll have the answers we need. There is no more competition. I don't know the five of swords. I just got competition. There's no more. We're now coming together. We're bridging that gap. We're working with someone else to bring this idea to life. So for the month of June, I'm getting um, look back on the first half of the year. See how much you've grown, what you've planted, how much you've grown, what you've learned, the things that you thought about, um, were inspired, that may have come into fruition. Don't stay stuck on that. Continue to go on. Use that spark of inspiration that you have, those ideas that you may have had the beginning half of the year to bring in that new beginning. In that cycle of not asking for help, holding on to those ideas and not sharing them. Holding on to your gifts and not sharing them is what I got. Make that change, make that move. Surround yourself with a better environment where you're more calm and at peace and you're able to call in your people, your community to move into a different direction. And I just get this, like, bringing in something awesome. It's an idea that's really awesome. And we're all inspired this month of June. And those are all of the messages that I have 
for the month of June, the energy of June that I'm feeling that's coming from this. Once again, this was kind of hard to do <laughs> considering I'm a visual person and the cards are kind of, but this was great. Uh, please let me know uh, in the comments if any of these messages resonated with you. Um, like I stated, you may be already feeling this energy. We do have a couple of, a few more days left in the month of uh, May. So you may already be feeling these energies or beginning to feel them. Uh, so let me know in the comments. Revisit in July if needed to let me know how your June went. Um, I love to hear back from you. And once again, thank you for stopping by. Uh, don't forget to like the video if you like the content. Share the video if you think it's worth sharing. If you think someone else will get information or this will be valuable information to someone else. And subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos. Um... Yeah, that's it. Thank you for stopping by. It was wonderful to have you all here with me. You have a wonderful month of June. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace, unconditional love, and light. Until next time.